Hi, uh, it's time for another math easy solution uh, to discuss further into improper integrals and go over example two of the example series and solve this one which states evaluate the following integral which is in integral from negative infinity to zero of x times e x uh, dx right here. So like I showed in my earlier video on the definition of improper integrals type one which is these infinite intervals uh, basically the first thing we gotta do is write this as a limit so basically this right here let's go put an arrow here it's so negative infinity to zero of x e to the power of x is equal uh, dx is equal to now we rewrite this so it's a limit so we write it as a limit as t approaches to infinity where t is going to be put here so zero and this is going to be x ex dx so now we're writing it uh, in terms of this definite integral where this t to the zero but now we're doing it as a limit and now we could just uh, try to solve this so the first thing we'll do is evaluate this integral and to do that we could use integration by parts and I'll write that down so recall the integration by parts method which I went over in my earlier video and you can see the video link below on that so integration by parts is basically when you have uh, something like this u dv so and then you could write it as uv minus v du so these are the two functions and in this case what we're going to do to solve this we're going to pick x to equal u so that when you take the derivative the x disappears you're just left with one so what we're going to do is let u equals to x so that du is equal to well just dx and now we're going to pick our uh, dv so that's this part here dv equals to well we'll equal to ex dx because the integrals just can be itself equals to ex dx so that the integral is just e to the power of x that's just integral of e to the x so now we can put all this together so the integral from t to zero of of uh, u with no x x e to the x dx equals to well u v so x times e to the x and this is again we're evaluating it from t to zero minus now this is t to zero now v is e to the x and then du is just dx that's just du so this we could just evaluate all this put the zero inside we're just left with zero minus put the t inside e to the t now minus, now we have this side here. Actually, whoops, there's a t inside here. So negative t times e to the power of t. And now minus, now we can evaluate this integral of that is just itself. So it equals to e to the, e to the x and evaluate it from t to zero. Plug these in, this is just negative t e to the t minus, and now what we have here is uh, this one here, put, put the zero inside, so e to the zero minus e to the t so again evaluate this this is e to the zero is just one so that's just yeah just basically anything to the power of zero is one you can see my earlier video on that so basically now that we have this put these all together this is negative t e t minus one and then minus so then this becomes addition two negatives becomes positive e to the t so we have this, so now we gotta find the limit of it. Yeah, so now what we have, when we put this all together, we get now integral from, uh, this is negative infinity to zero of x e to the x dx is equal to limit as t approaches negative infinity of negative t e to the t minus one plus e to the t. So we have that. This equals two now. We could break these up into three limits. So limit as t approaches negative infinity of negative t e to the t, and then plus limit as t approaches, well, negative infinity of this is negative one. We could take the negative out. I just want to stick with positive number, well, uh, with addition here. Plus the last one, limit as t approaches negative infinity of e to the t. 
So for the first case, I'll do this one first, I'll do the second, and this one last, because this one's more complicated. So the first one, this is straightforward. Limit as t approaches negative infinity of negative one. Well, it doesn't matter what t is, there's no t variable, this just equals to negative one. So whatever this is, this is always gonna be negative one. This, now the, the second one right here, limit of t approaches negative infinity. This one right here of e to the t, this, well, let's just rewrite it to be, to make it a bit easier to understand. So t approaches negative infinity. This is one over e to the negative t. So I just put this down here, but put a negative here. And again, this is the same thing as writing limit as t approaches, let's go with uh, of infinity, positive infinity of this is one over e to the t. So again, we're just putting a large number at the bottom. This is gonna be really, really large. And that just equals to a one over a large number. So it approaches zero. So we have the first one is negative one, second is zero. And the last one, let's deal with this one right there. So what we have now, the limit as t approaches negative infinity of negative t e to the t, this better, negative t times e to the t, this equals two, I'll just make it, uh, I'll rewrite this uh, so that we can apply Le Habitel's rule and I'll get to that in a bit. So this equals to limit as t approaches negative infinity. This is now gonna have negative t over, this is gonna be e to the negative t. So similar to what we just did above. So now we have this right here. So this is the same scenario as this one right here. This one approaches yeah, this, this overall approach is zero, but this goes to inf infinity at the bottom. So what we have in this case here is you put a negative infinity here, this, is, this just goes to infinity, and this bottom one, e to the negative infinity, that's a, as well going to infinity. So what we have is, yeah, so we have in this case in, an infinity over an infinity. It doesn't matter if it's plus or minus, but in this case it looks like it will be yeah, I think this one is gonna be negative, uh, actually positive infinity. So anyways, we have an infinity over an infinity, and because we do, we could apply Le Hapitel's rule. So now a quick note if you uh, need a reminder, basically recall the, the Le Hapitel's rule, which I covered in my earlier video, you can see the video link below, that states that the limit of two functions is such that we get either zero over zero, or infinity over infinity, then the limit can be calculated by using the derivatives of those functions, assuming that the derivatives are uh, possible for the functions. So in our case right here, we could write limit as t approaches negative infinity, right here of negative t, I'll just take the negative out and put it behind here, so of t over e to the, actually I'll just keep the negative inside, so like this, if we have something like this, this equals two limit as t approaches negative infinity of the derivative of it. So t, d over yeah, d of negative t or dt divided by the derivative here, written in this notation, doesn't matter what notation you write. So basically we have it like this, so the derivative of the bottom over the derivative Oh yeah, so we have it, basically we can take the derivatives of these functions. So when we do that, this equals to limit t approaches negative infinity. Now this, this top one right here, the derivative of negative t is just negative one. So that's just negative one. And then the bottom is the derivative of e to the negative t is equal to e to the negative t. Chain rule the derivative of negative t is just negative one. So that's just negative like that. So these cancel, this just equals to limit t approaches negative infinity of one over e to the t. And again, like I showed before, when you apply negative infinity here, this is the same as one over uh, e to the infinity, which is approaching large number at the bottom. So one divided by large number, that just equals to zero. So we got this answer finally using the Hopiotel's rule. So what we have now is the integral from negative infinity to zero of x e to the x dx is equal to the limit as t approaches negative infinity of negative t e to the t minus one then plus e to the t.
and which we calculated above in each separate one equals to well zero minus one and then we have a zero so this just equals to negative one like that anyways that's yeah so there's that's the limit of this the law that's the answer of this improper integral anyways hopefully you'll learn from this pretty useful video on it and also a reminder of lahapi tells rule and and the integration by parts you see those uh, videos on proofs of those, etc., and the video links below. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hof uh, hopefully, you learned and stay tuned for another math easy solution.